Life as a real estate investor and entrepreneur. I was literally writing my things to do list and I said, you know what? I want to share this with somebody that's actually thinking about one day becoming financially free and what somebody that has already accomplished that actually does every day and what they're continuing to do to still build their portfolio. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the smack fish, the beat down. The SWAT team is here on another beautiful day of shutting the week down. Hey guys, for me for the very first time, my name is William Doria. I am a full-time real estate investor. That basically means I buy properties, I rent them out, I do cash out refis, I continue to buy more of them, and every year it gets better and better. Snowballs, snowballs, so I can continue to help out more people by giving them affordable, clean housing to live in. And every day, like clockwork, before I go to bed, I write down my things to-do list, which I highly recommend you start doing as well and just see the incredible results it actually makes. So basically, let's start off with this, guys. So I want to show you my office. Unclean, just in my everyday office. Here it is, guys. This is it right here. When you walk into my office, this is my workplace. This is my home. This is my everything. I didn't do any cleanup at all. I literally stepped outside my office, snapped it, and sat back down. So that is my everyday workplace. My things to do list is unspell checked because I was a C student, C minus student at that. I didn't filter anything in this video. Okay, so here's my things to do list. It is um, probably and most likely spelt incorrectly, but we're gonna go through it and we're actually, I'm actually gonna show you um, kind of a quick rundown of what it actually looks like. Here we go. Okay, so this is my board right here. Uh, it's got a, a lot of uh, stuff on the left that's just stuff that kind of keep in the back of my mind, like hard money lenders, private money lenders, people to try in the future if I don't like the guy I'm currently using, etc. right? But right in the middle there, it says Thursday, because in this video today is Thursday, and it says this. Let's zoom in on there. All right, so it says, Fine tub resurfacer and then call Taylor. Taylor is my general contractor and I wanted to reach out, find a tub surfacer uh, for a bathtub that, that, that needs it done. All right, so here are the pictures here. So that's the tub right there. Um, obviously it needs a little bit of work. This is the other picture of it back. So I called a tub resurfacer and as soon as I find somebody, I'm going to send them my general contractor's number so they can coordinate it because he's at the house doing the remodel and I'm basically hand off and I'm done with that, okay? The next thing here is, um, well, YT, YouTube. Uh, basically, why credit is important, value add properties with examples and today's video as well. I'm gonna do my first ever today batch filming. I've never done it ever in my life, but I'm going to batch film today for the very first time. Uh, I'm going to see how that goes and that might make my entire content for this week. Um, that's my son. I drop him off from nine to two. Uh, so I make a note. So I see it there. I also set my alarm so I don't get caught up with the time and uh, well, for, forget or not forget, but pick him up late or, you know, not drop them off at all or kind of thing. I need to keep track of every day. This is what I do. Okay. So the next one is list eBay. A lot of people don't know. I've been on eBay for almost 20 years, if that dates me at all. But um, I had a motorcycle dealership for about 10 years. I have a ridiculous amount of parts left over. I sold all the bikes, but I have a lot of parts left over. So what I do every day is this. Uncleaned, unfiltered, this is exactly what it looks like when I walk into my eBay room. Matter of fact, I just stood back and I just took a picture, okay? I'm not like, like making this look shiny and nice, you know, for a YouTube video like this is my actual workplace, guys. Um, I list 15 parts, seven days per week, put them on eBay. I've been doing it for years. I probably have another year or so, I think, of worth of listing. I have three storage units packed to the brim of parts. So I've got 7,000 parts currently on eBay. I don't know how much I have left. <laughs> <laughs> probably 3,000 if I had to guess, I don't know, maybe less. Um, and then that's like a random box of parts, an example, like literally, I, I, not every part is even tagged. I literally pick up a part and I'm like, I have to figure out year, make, and model, and the name of this part for every part, for every sport bike ever made, ever. So I'm an encyclopedia when it comes to sport bikes because I lived and breathed it so long every day. And now I just also do it every day part-time, at least at the house. Okay, back to the list. C Market. 
And what I mean is I'm not talking about the stock market, I'm talking real estate because that is what I do every day, guys. And I have a couple quick tabs on my computer. I wanna show you what the market, how I check the market every day. Now, I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this because I do breakdowns. We're not gonna break it down, but I'm gonna show you the quick tabs, what I look for, here we go. All right, and checking the market, this is how we are going to do it. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I have all my quick tabs on the top. Uh, one of them is gonna be Zillow Single Family homes okay so we're going to basically i'm going to look for one percent rules and basically what that is is say for this house right here it's one hundred seventy nine thousand dollars. i need it to rent for at least eighteen hundred dollars a month after i after i'm all in it so if i'm all in it for say one hundred eighty thousand dollars, which i would probably be in it for a little bit more um it would need to rent for a hundred need to rent for eighteen hundred dollars a month so one percent uh per month so here's a four two $120,000, uh, let me just click on that one because that one actually might be a decent little deal. Uh, I like two bathrooms just because if you have an issue with one of the bathrooms, it's not an emergency because you have another bathroom. Uh, oh yeah, no electrical panel, tile, but they're different colors. Definitely needs paint, needs some work for sure. Uh, maybe a roof, probably a roof leak. Um, yeah, so basically what I'll do is this guys is I'll take an address that's, let's say I'm interested. Say I'm like, wow, yeah, that one actually looks like a decent deal. Let me deep dive into this. So basically what I'll do is, I should say deep dive. It's just kind of preliminary dive to make sure this makes sense. If, if this makes sense, then I double check the property taxes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so yeah, so we're at, um, we're at $1,500 a month, give or take. Um, so the property is located right here. The next closest is A. It looks like it's in the same neighborhood since I have a pro account. You'll see what rentometer.com actually looks like if you have a pro account. So what I'll do is I will scroll down and I will actually look for A because that actually is in my neighborhood it looks like. And it's a 1,200 square foot home. It's three bed, two bath, rents for $1,450 a month. I'll go back and I know that, hey, this house might actually makes sense depending on the actual scope of work when you go there so you actually have to either you would actually have to go there with a general contract or at least have enough knowledge to be able to assess repairs correctly uh, because you definitely don't want to get pr repairs incorrect anyway so um, let's say I'm done with looking at my single families and I've seen everything for the day because if you look every single day you don't have to keep you know, going back and back and back. You can just look at what was listed today. All right, so next is gonna be, and these are all my pre-saved. These are gonna be also on Zillow, but these are my multifamily properties, okay? And I'm looking for the same 1% rule or greater on these, okay? I can look at this and say, I actually have a duplex in Fort Worth, and I can say, hey, look, I know these will rent for about $1,500 a month per side, uh, that times two, that price would be about $300,000 purchase price, give or take. So I know that 464 is probably, probably, I haven't deep dived it, probably not for me. It might not be overpriced for the market, but as an investor, it wouldn't cash flow what I would like to see. Uh, basically, these are all multifamily. Scroll down. Uh, like I said, we're not going to deep dive much of this, okay? Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to look at apartment complexes, or really, commercial properties, but I am more leaning to apartment complexes right now uh, because that's going to be my next buy. Uh, so this one is gonna be loopnet.com. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see nothing but large multi-family properties, guys. You're gonna see everything from, I guess a two unit, I guess that you don't see a lot of those, but you're gonna see three, four, five units up to 350 units sometimes. Um, and prices are going to be everywhere from a couple hundred thousand to uh, 40 million. <laughs> You're going to see everything here, okay? Um, I have it narrowed down to, oh, and you, and you can scroll in just a little bit where I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So I can scroll in and say, look, I only want to look for apartments within, you know, semi driving distance of my property, of my house. So I can look in like this region right here, and there's still a lot to choose from. And like I said, if you look every single day, your workload is drastically, drastically uh, decreased because you're only looking at the new stuff that comes up that day. Uh, okay, so next one is gonna be 10x.com. It is a real estate auction website. 
And if you're a real estate investor and you haven't heard of some of these, you should definitely be taking notes. Um, 10x.com, guys. So you got starting bids. Now, now, guys, these are cash buys, okay? So unlike you know the other stuff we're looking at, or 25% down, give or take, uh, these are cash buys most likely. Um, there may be some financing options, but you want to reach out. You want to anticipate a cash offer on these. So when they're 400,000, quarter million, million, um, anticipate that being a cash lump sum up front to buy these properties. So that does put a lot of investors out of the market because, well, $4.5 million, for instance, is a lot of money cash. Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, you got auction dates, all that stuff. You can click on this, do your own due diligence. Moving on to the next, we have three more I look at every single day. So Crexy.com. Uh, I like this website a lot. I'm going to kind of show you um, how to quickly kind of see what... Uh, what I look at every day. So I'm looking into the Dallas Fort Worth area. Scroll in just a little bit more. There we go. Something, something, something like that. And it's going to update and it's going to show me my results are now 33. So it was 185 because I don't want to analyze 185 properties. Uh, so it gets me down to 33 results. Now you could analyze this or break it down a little bit more if you're like, hey, look, I only want up to say 20 units or I only want you know 30 units or I want to look at everything above 30 units or whatever you want, okay? Um, so the one thing I don't like about the commercial just uh, industry in general is they unprice most properties. So... <laughs> When I say, okay, have you done your deal analysis? You're like, kind of, because you don't have a price. Like you don't know what they're asking. So basically what you'll do is you'll click on one of these properties. Uh, I'm not gonna click on anything, but this one's price, that's great. So you'll click on one of the price, the properties, and you'll you'll sign a non-disclosure. That's why I can't show you any of this. Uh, but basically, this is, all public inf this is all public stuff here. But you'll basically, you'll basically do your analyzation. You'll say, look, these are the rents, because they'll actually show you the rent roll. Uh, they'll also show you what's called a T12, which is your trailing 12 months worth of income and expenses. And it'll show you the most important number on apartment investing, guys, is your NOI, your net operating income. And there's a very cool formula, guys. This is how it works, okay? Let's say there's a property with $120,000 NOI, okay? That's a pretty popular number. $120,000. This is how you find the NOI. And matter of fact, if they give you the NOI, and they will, you can figure out what the property is probably worth according to your area. So let's say your area typically, they call it trading, they trip typically trades or sells for a six cap, okay? A 6% cap. This is how you do the math, okay? $120,000 NOI, you do divided by 0 0.06 equals $2 million, okay? So we know it is six cap, it's $2 million. Now let's say you're in an area where you can get an eight cap property or as an investor, you want an eight cap property. Okay, so you'll take $120,000, okay? And you'll divide it by 0 0.08 and now your purchase price to get an eight cap is $1.5 million. See how that works? Now, if you want a 10 cap, that's easy math. That's $1.2 million. That's a 10 cap property. Um, here's here, here the thing is, guys. To get a 10 cap property, you most likely have to do your own extensive renovations and rent raises yourself. You're not gonna be able to just go out and buy a 10 cap property on market through a broker, most likely. At least in the Dallas DFW area, North Texas area. That's not something you see without you having to go in and uh, doing um, your own rent raises, um, rehabs. Uh, it's called value add without doing that. Okay, moving on, guys. That's Crexy. Uh, super cool website. And uh, the next one I look at is graysteel.com. Now, you will see that some of these properties are the same. So, which is good because you know that, okay, I've already seen that one, I've already seen that one, I've already seen that one, I've already done my deal, I've already done my deal analysis on that property. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna scroll in and we are gonna show you what they have right now as of this video on the market for sale to the public.
Okay, and scrolling into the Dallas area, it was a little laggy there for a second. Scrolling in, we are going to get, let's go to the DFW, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Come on. I think that's it. Right here. All right, we'll just, we'll just call it there, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to scroll into your area as much as you want to. Say you have a radius you only wanna drive, say 100 miles, 50 miles, 20 miles, whatever it is. Um, you'll get a radius, okay? And then you'll find all the same, all the properties in that area, including some of the same I've, I've seen here. Um, so basically, that's another one that I look at. And like I said, if you look at them every single day, you'll realize the ones that just popped up and you can only do, you'll only be able to do an analysis on that particular new one that just hit the market. And it's the best way to catch the best deals because the best deals are the ones that go the fastest. Um, typically, typically, not all the time. Sometimes there are some value add that you see only. Uh, stick with me because I have a special one for you real estate investors that a lot of you guys don't even know exist. Um, so this is another one. Current listings, more than 75 units, under 75 units. I am a new apartment real estate investor, so right now, I'm under 75 units because frankly, I just want to be able to get approved through a bank uh, because you have to have the experience first. So you kind of have to start small, prove your worth, and then they can you can build your portfolio from there. All right, so you got an 18 unit here, you got 38 unit, 35 unit, 60 unit, 31 unit, 34, 32. Uh, that's what you got there. Uh, this is one of the largest uh, companies from what I understand. Uh, or had been around the longest, uh, very well respected. I read a lot of good things about them on Google. Um, so highly recommend checking them out as well on your daily. And the last one in the bonus is Trelly. There, it was a little delayed. Trelly, T-R-E-L-L-Y. Um, I'm not sure this is in every market, okay, but Go on your phone, download the app, and they will send you daily wholesale deals to your phone. All you have to do is hit the app, and you literally can scroll through this, guys. Check it out. It's got your price. It's got your ARV. It's got your rent. You click on it. It's got all your pictures. Um, what I like about them, guys, to be honest, is they have been the closest and their rent analysis and their ARVs of any wholesaler I've seen, guys. And this is a big wholesaler. Um, there's a lot of properties that I personally talked to the people off market, and they ended up getting the contract on them. And I and they and the guy wasn't even talking to them initially. So these guys spend a lot of money. I know it because. They, they get a lot of deals that were in the pipeline and they scoop them up quick. Um, a lot of money in advertising and marketing. And um, if, if there's deals out there, guys, I do recommend checking out Trelly because they will get a hold of them and they seem to market them at, uh, at reasonable prices, obviously due, due diligence. Due diligence. Uh, don't just take a wholesaler's um, uh, word for it. But uh, it, it definitely, um, it's definitely one of the best, better wholesalers for sure out there. Um, okay, so moving on, the last thing I would do, uh, this isn't every single day because this is a pay to play kind of thing, but I would go on listsource.com and I would build a list. And you can use other sites as well. Uh, I have used other sites. They actually are phenomenal. Uh, but today what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not gonna do it on this video, but I'm gonna go on listsource.com and I'm going to build my own off-market multi-family campaign. I'm going to handwrite letters and I'm going to send them to apartment owner, apartment complex owners uh, to try to get some off-market apartment complexes because I think the better deals are obviously before they go through a broker's hand and, and such. If I can get them a hold of them before that, uh, there's even more value to me as a real estate investor for that. And guys, that pretty much wraps up what I do all day, 
every day. I, that makes it sound really boring, doesn't it? But doing this repetitive and doing it every single day is what's going to be able to break you out from the nine to five, become your own boss and full-time real estate investor and build generational wealth for not just you, not just your kids, but your kids' kids. And above all, don't forget to give back to the community. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, be sure to smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you like the channel. I make several videos per week on real estate investing, financial freedom, this kind of stuff in general. Until next time, I will see you on the next one.